What's going on guys? Professor Chaos here. And in this video I will be showing you how to install and give kind of a review on Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. It is a fantastic mod that I'm sure most of you have seen already before. It adds dynamic shading to Minecraft, which makes Minecraft look crazy. Um, I wish this was in actual vanilla Minecraft, like just have a graphics option to have this on. But at the moment it isn't, and I'm not sure it ever will be, but um, this is a great mod and I highly recommend you try it out. It's a very um, graphics intensive mod, so I, I'm sorry, but uh, quite a few of you may not be able to install this, but if you can, try it out. Um, it's great for cinematics like I use in some of my videos and it just makes Minecraft look cool. Um, to get the best FPS, you're going to have to tweak some things, but I will be showing you that shortly. Um, first thing you need to do for Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders is download Optifine. I will have links to all these in the description. But if you go to Optifine's page, um, you will need to download one of these versions. I use multi-core. Some people think smooth is better, but whatever core you, uh, core, <laughs> whatever version you want, download that. And then once you have downloaded it, to install it, um, I suggest installing um, everything on a clean Minecraft. So if you open up Minecraft and go to options, click force update, and then when you log in, it'll uh, force install a new bin folder. So I suggest doing that first, and then go into your Minecraft folder if you don't know how to find it. Go into your search, go, oops, not and, go percent app data data at. <laughs> and percent and then hit enter go into your minecraft folder there's your minecraft folder right there should be near the top i suggest making a link to it somewhere else so that you don't have to do that every time but go in your minecraft folder into your bin folder and then go into your minecraft jar using something like winrar or winzip and then open up optifine and then just control a except for that one um, and just drag and drop. You can copy and paste as well, but you also need to delete your meta INF. Click yes, and then once you have done that, you can exit out of your Minecraft and Optifine is now installed, but Op uh, Sonic Ethers is not, so we need to go to Sonic Ethers page, scroll down until you get to downloads, and you'll first need to download one of these two. So if you have Windows, download this one. If you have Mac or Linux, download this one. And then um, you'll need to install that one. So this one is a little bit different. You'll extract, and then it'll have a folder right here. And if you go in this folder, there's an installer. All you need to do is double click that. It'll pop up this window. And just click Install Mods. And it'll go through the installation process. And once it's complete, you can exit out. Um, if it doesn't find the right Minecraft um, jar for some reason, or you have your jar in some other location, you can change here, um, but otherwise just do it like I said, and then you can exit out of that. It may pop up with this window right here. Oh, didn't do it this time. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, it sometimes pops up with a, oh, this program didn't install correctly, but you can just say that it did. But um, now that Sonic Ethers is installed like that, it will not show up in Minecraft yet. You will need to download one of the shader packages. It installed the shader um, editable folder, but it did not install any new shaders, so you'll need to download one of these. Um, light, Default, or Ultra. Um, I, I suggest trying out each one to see which one's best for you. Um, especially if you have a not-so-great computer, try one of these lower ones just in case. Um, but I have already downloaded Ultra, so we'll go over here, go into Ultra, and then go inside this folder and you'll have all of these. Now go back into your Minecraft folder, or jar, I mean, and you should have this new folder called Shaders. It is not there originally, that's what the installer put in. So now we've got all these that look somewhat similar. <laughs> They're actually the same thing, just um, these ones are edited to make Minecraft look awesome. So just select all of them, 
drag and drop, click OK. And then now that is edited and Minecraft will now look amazing. Let's go in and check it out. I'm using Magic Launcher. Um, I have installation on this as well as other things in another video. I'll post a link, um, maybe an annotation. But make sure you don't have anything else selected in here. Um, just too many items actually works without mod loader, just in case you were wondering. But um, so you can keep that one on. But oh, quite a few other mods don't work with uh, the shaders. So uh, like the awesome water shader. But anyway, let's go in, um, log in, and let's go to Minecraft and check it out. So let's go into this world. And we should have, yes, dynamic shading. Woo! <laughs> it makes Minecraft look pretty amazing. And look, there's my shadow. It's kind of bugged. It's like blobby. Um, but this isn't, this mod isn't perfect, but it does make Minecraft look awesome. Um, so now, sun's up there, shadows are, um, falling correctly. If we change the time, so time to noon, the shadows are right underneath, sun, sun is up there pretty awesome. Um, we can change it to nighttime. Uh, nighttime looks, oh, maybe not since I have a um, setting in Optifine set, but anyway, um, the shadows will change accordingly, as well as trees and, or leaves and grass move. Kind of interesting. As well as um, fire, if I can find flint and steel. If we click, see fires moving like crazy. I don't really like that feature. It looks kind of hokey, lame. <laughs> looks a little retarded. But um, the trees look all right. I'm not a big fan. It's like a big blob instead of actually waving trees. The grass looks better in my opinion. It's, it's just flowing in the wind. Looks good. Uh, the trees are kind of odd. And they get this, if you can see that, the... You can see the seam on the blocks is it shows through the to the sky, so that that's not too cool. <laughs> but anyway, if you now if you do not want these shaders or not shaders these features the moving grass or leaves which I don't usually have on, it saves a little bit of FPS. If you don't, um, you can go back into the thread and download one of these. If you already have no waving objects on, download this one to get it back on. But I've already downloaded no waving objects right here. And you'll just have one file in this one. Go back into your Minecraft bin and then jar. And then go back into that shaders folder and then just copy it over. Okay. And now you shouldn't have any of those waving objects. Go back in and log in. Quite a process. <laughs> um, but this makes cinematics look pretty awesome. Um, as, as well as the water shader. It's too bad those two don't work together. Um, they're both pretty beastly mods, so I'm sure there's some crazy conflict that people are trying to figure out, but at the moment it's not fixed. But now, leaves and grass are not moving anymore which I, I like better, um, and it um, saves in a little bit F of FPS. Uh, let's see, check out my FPS. Oh, pre pretty nice, 63 FPS, 64. Um, not bad. Uh, if you don't have the greatest computer, you may not want to use this because it'll just drop your FPS down way low, because I usually have upwards of 200 and more FPS, and <laughs> so... You can see on mine, mine's dropped down to 60 FPS, which is awesome, but um, way different than 250. Uh, it, it's very graphics intensive, processing uh, intensive mod, and I'm sorry if you can't run this, but it does look amazing um, if you can. Anyway, um, I think that's all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I, I put links to everything down in the description. Um, Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders is a great mod that he has put a lot of work into. It's based off of GLSL Shaders by Grax or something like that. I can't remember. It's up here. Um, anyway, uh, it's a great 
mod. I highly recommend it. If you can run it, run it. Um, if you can't, enjoy people's who has. Um, you can download my Let's Build Exchange map on my channel now, in case you didn't know, and uh, as well as my texture pack, uh, customized and. I think that's all I wanted to show you guys. Hopefully you learned something from this video. If not, hope you enjoyed. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.